Hey guys, welcome back to Bungus Custom Bikes. Today we're going to be working on the Kawasaki and it's going to be kind of sort of like a two-part video or excuse me a second part from when we did the rust removal on the XS 1100 tank. Today we're going to be doing rust removal on the KZ 400 tank but we're going to be doing a little bit kind of a different type of science. If you remember the video with the XS 1100, we used electrolysis. So we used electricity in water that drew the rust off the tank to our sacrificial anode. Well, today we are using a chain and vinegar. So vinegar or acetic acid reacts with iron oxide, which is rust, and will actually dissolve it. I don't remember what compound it turns it into but it dissolves the rust. So this tank is pretty rusty. It's got a little bit of rust flake in it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chain in it and shake it around and break all that rust loose. And then we're gonna fill it up with this 30% vinegar. So you say it's 30%. So this is much stronger than what you get in your uh, normal household grocery store. It comes from you know, a hardware store, but it's much stronger. So it will hopefully dissolve all the rust off that tank takes about 24 hours, the same as the electrolysis. And once it's all dissolved, we'll dump it out and hopefully have a clean tank. So if you like this video, please like the channel, subscribe to the channel, it helps out a lot. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's our tank. It is very rusty. If you listen, you can hear all the rust bits that are already in it. So we want to knock all that loose and get that out before we pour our vinegar in. So that's what the chain is for. So I don't know if any of you had uh, rock tumblers as kids. You know, where you put the rocks in the little drum, you add the, the slurry to it. It spins around for like a week or a month and it comes out, you get these really shiny polished rocks. Well, it's essentially what our goal here is. We're going to drop this chain into it and then we're going to shake it around and hopefully let the chain knock all the debris loose. So let's go ahead and get this chain in there. Our chain's in, let's shake it up. All right, got it real shaken up real good. Uh, it actually has knocked a lot of rust loose, which is pretty cool. So now we're gonna have to fish the chain out of there and we'll bring it over to the hose and fill it up with water, shake that around real good, dump the water out and then vinegar goes in. All right, chain's out. We uh, rinsed it, a lot of rust flake already. Uh, in an ideal world, when you put the vinegar in, you want it to be full. That way it's covering all surfaces. But this vinegar is like 15, 20 bucks a bottle. <clears throat> so, I didn't get, probably, probably didn't get enough. Um, goes without saying, you know, wear your PPE. Here, I'll put my, my safety fashion glasses on. Boom. Now I'm safe and styling. Uh, it's just vinegar, so you don't really need the gloves. I mean, you can if you want to. You don't need a respirator. But, next step, fill her up. After you finish this whole process, definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you run a fuel filter on your bike and then change it, I would say, after the first two tanks of fuel that you run through because there's some of this grit you're not going to be able to get out. So just, you know, be careful. Don't want to clog your, uh, your system up. And just like with the last tank, make sure that you have 
the exits for fuel closed, so the petcocks. Make sure that they're in or that you have those holes sealed up with something. And I do suggest doing this in a relatively well ventilated area purely because it's vinegar and it smells. To my knowledge, this doesn't produce any like noxious fumes, but you know. I like to keep the bottles too. That way I have something to pour the vinegar back into when I dump it. Good my other bottle. Here it is. Whew. So these are a gallon a piece and I've got two. I'll save you the, the having to watch me pour another gallon in. Well, we got a two gallons of vinegar in. Uh, apparently this is a three-ish gallon tank because it is not full. But, you know, that's all right. If you fill it up all the way, cool. You know, you don't have to, but if you do, you can uh, just kind of leave it. But if you don't fill it up all the way, I suggest every, like, you know, hour or so, just coming and kind of giving it a little blue, 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 just to make sure that all the walls stay wet. Um, but, I mean, the time it's going to soak is going to vary based purely on how rusty it is. <clears throat> um, but the vinegar should, I mean, seriously, completely dissolve the rust. So we're just going to let that sit now. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll check it. So you can see that real scummy looking water on top there. That means that the vinegar has dissolved a lot of that rust. Go ahead and get it dumped out and then washed out. All right, I'm gonna try and get this tipped over quick so I don't make a huge mess. One, two, three. Ah! That is vile. But it is clean, clean, clean. There's a lot of stuff just kind of stuck, just scum. But otherwise, it is. It is clean. Let me let you see this water. Check that out. Yuck. So I'm going to take this over to the uh, hose and spray it out. And then probably rinse it a few times. And then we'll, uh, we'll put something in it to seal it. Okay, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there, but... There's a better view of the vinegar mixture. And it is just, I mean, gross. Big old chunks came out. And let me see if I can get a good view inside. Yeah, there you go. You can see how clean it is now. There's a little bit that's just really already starting to flash rust. And that's fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with old gas. And <clears throat> it doesn't have to be full all the way because as the gas vaporizes... It'll displace the oxygen in there, which is what the iron reacts with to make rust. And we'll, uh, it'll keep it rust free. So hold on. So you do kind of want to get your uh, old fuel or whatever you're going to use, uh, misting oil, anything in there pretty quick because it will flash rust fast. It's already started to flash rust. And again, that's just surface rust, so it's easy to get rid of, but <clears throat> best to avoid it. So I'm just going to go to my used gasoline bucket I have over here and we're just gonna pump some old nasty gas into it and call it a day obviously make sure you pump this gas out before you turn the bike on 
this nasty gas. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you for today. That's another method of cleaning a tank. I hope it was helpful. Um, you know, you can check out my other video about uh, cleaning with electrolysis. And now you've got this one about cleaning with vinegar. So just to note, you do need the stronger vinegar, but I mean, as you saw, this tank was rusty and the vinegar got it clean. So pretty good method if you don't want to set up the whole battery and all that, but Another tool for the toolbox. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay riding.